Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Thursday and that means the weekend has almost started for those of us here on Mountain Views, but we've got one more show and we're happy to be here. I'm Terry Burton. There it is. That's right. Still, still loving it. Doing the show, having a good old time. It's going to be fun tonight. We're going to do good works. We're going to hear good music. It's just going to be so terribly satisfying. Then we'll all hug. We'll probably cry a little bit and we'll saunter off into the sunset. What in the world is going on out there? What is going on with The New Yorker? It's a great magazine, very literary, which means that I hardly ever read it. But when I do, even if I spend a paragraph or two, I feel better, more cultured, and more literate after I've done so. However, I don't feel all that guilty for not doing so more often because it's so expensive. You know, in 1925, when The New Yorker came out, it was 15 cents. It's the anniversary today, and on the New Yorker's anniversary of their first issue in 1925, it's six bucks, yo. I mean, they don't hardly even have any pictures. And it's not like it's really expensive to get all those really smart people who are publishing lots of other places to kick in some good stories to the New Yorker for all that, not that much. I mean, how much can it cost to put together a cover like that. Don't get me wrong. I like it. It's real cool. I bet that guy reads The New Yorker. He looks real smart and sophisticated. But that's kind of a line drawing, isn't it? Like, you know, just some pen and ink and away you go. But you're right. Kevin is right. Kevin is saying in my ear, Terry, it's sophisticated. It's art. Come on. So, I don't know. I don't know where that leaves me. I guess I'm just going to have to put up with $6 an issue if I really want to be as cultured as I'd like to be. Happy birthday, New Yorker. Love ya. You know what we don't have enough of in Las Vegas these days? Shootouts, car chases, pileups, mayhem. Well, today we rectified that situation at least a little bit. Way to go, Vegas. It was right downtown. It was right outside of the Bellagio, and it was actually for real. I know. I'm snarking it up. People died. Three people died. Six injured. It was terrible. But it was a Maserati and a Range Rover chasing it out, duking it out, shooting it out. There was fire. There was explosions. A lot of folks that were interviewed in the aftermath of this big event in Las Vegas today on Las Vegas Boulevard said, you know, I don't, I, we don't have this at home. I mean, we come to Vegas and we thought we'd lose all our money, but to lose all our money and get to see things really blow up? I love you, Las Vegas. Okay. I added the last part, but the rest was all a verbatim quote from one of the great journalistic sources in the media today, the USA Today, of course. Do you know Representative Bob Goodlatte? He's a Republican, and he's from Virginia, and he hates illegals. Really, really hates illegals. As in, path to citizenship? What? Like, seriously? How about all you illegals get out of here? Eh, that's pretty much a paraphrase, but that's kind of how Bob Goodlatte feels about the whole idea that the Republican Party should be more sensitive to the fact that guys like Marco Rubio represent the future of the party and represent really a growth opportunity and at present a missed opportunity for the Republican Party to be speaking to all constituencies, especially those who are growing daily in importance in voters turnout and in informedness in terms of electing the most important offices in the land but uh, you know there's just there's some guys actually there's more than just guys there are some folks that are aligned with the Republican Party that just don't have good feelings about people whose skin may be slightly darker than mine and may or may not have citizenship and or residency. So I guess we're gonna have to stay tuned to see if the good latte faction of the Republican Party continues to pursue this line of thinking and this line of non-policy as it were and what that is going to mean for the future of the increasingly powerful Hispanic vote 
here in the United States today. And in other news, Ann Coulter is a woman, and she's very conservative. I presume that she's a Republican. Uh, she looks very nice in this photograph, and I will acknowledge that. But if it's a day that ends in a Y, then that usually means that there's something that Ann Coulter is pretty pissed about. And guess what it is? Immigration! What a crazy thing that one story leads to another about get them out of here. Turns out that Ann is pissed because there is an increasing portion of the Republican Party that's saying the Hispanic vote is increasing. Am I repeating myself? This is kind of a more of the same story that I just did and yet it's also news because ah, the whole, you know, allowing people to immigrate to the United States legally and the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island and give me your poor, your tired and your maybe from south of the United States border, not so much. I think, and I could be wrong, it's just one bald guy's opinion, but I think that most of the people, most, I'm not going to say all because that's kind of an absolute statement, but most of the people who are in the country illegally are probably not going to get rounded up and are probably not going to leave of their own volition. So maybe, again, just one guy's opinion, but maybe we're going to have to continue to discuss ways in which we can address immigration and the presence of people who are not citizens and or legal residents of the United States in some other manner than sending them home. Just me, I know, so crazy, but I just can't help it. We did the universe story. Oh no, we didn't do the universe story. Oh my gosh, you guys, don't panic, except maybe panic. Because the really smart guys who study the Higgs boson particle are saying, there it is, it's a good looking particle, don't you think? <laughs> I love that particle. The thing I like best about the Higgs boson particle is that I don't really understand it. And I don't know why it is that I'm consistently so fascinated by things that I don't understand because that wouldn't seem to be very personally enlightening. But it's okay because we have smart guys and gals in particle physics who are spending a lot of time up close and personal with the Higgs boson particle and they're saying that what they're learning is that the universe might not last forever. It may be a finite period of time before things blow up. Or an alternate universe expands and expands and expands, not unlike a storyline in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And, well, the fact of the matter is that I'm leaving out an important part, and that is that Earth will most likely not exist by the time the Higgs boson particle determines when the finite end of our universe takes place and is crowded out by an alternate version of our galaxy. But I, nevertheless, I'm terrified, and uh, I just don't know what to do about it. Whew, that was a lot. Let's talk local news. I'll feel better then. Oh, wait, uh, maybe I won't feel better, because on the 16th of February, Summit County Council, in coordination with Leadership Park City, had uh, an open forum meeting. Uh, talking about budget issues and the fact that our good friend Bob Jasper, who comes to this program often, who is the county manager of Summit County, made the statement that we're kind of broke lately. And Bob, if you're watching, please come next week and give me some info on sort of those qualifiers, the kind of, uh, in conjunction with broke, which seems like kind of an absolute thing, and then lately, which of course is kind of a time measure of we weren't broke before, we may or may not be broke in the future, but right now we're kind of broke. Uh, obviously there's some controversy being stirred up by these statements and it's tough, you know, it's tough running county government and I, you know, I hand it to the folks at the Summit County Council as well as Bob Jasper who is a great guy, smart guy, and heretofore has always done a really, I think, a great job running the county of the summit, but we got to find out more. So. Anybody out there, if you're on the phone with Bob Jasper right now, don't Terry says hi, and 
help me out. We need to, to dig down into this issue and find out more, find out if the cutting of uh, budget line items is near, if the end is in sight or not. Great show tonight. We're going to talk to the good folks from Deer Valley, from the Fisher House, and from the Paint Mixer. A big fundraiser going to be happening soon for the Fisher House. The Veterans Administration down in Salt Lake, they are good folks. They do great work. We're going to find out more about how you can participate and help them achieve their goals of ministering to the needs of the families of folks who are being treated at the VA hospital. And time for music. I'm so excited. Rock night. Numero dos here on Mountain Views. Please welcome and enjoy Missing Method. Boys. This is a song called Exhausting. <laughs> Now you change your mind just to suit the time And you'll certainly deny having said anything contrary We can't pin you down to what you said out loud in front of this crowd Your words are far too slippery Is documented with a loophole to keep you clean. Backslide down this mountain and blow your building. Defend what you never said anyway. Making sure every moment is documented with a loophole to keep you clean. Backed into a corner that you can't get out of. Fall back on D. This must be. Look at how you're so clever The world is laid bare before You'll start to paint moral code Eradicate any road That leads to other endeavors Making sure every moment is documented With a loophole to keep you clean Backside down this mountain of loyal building Defend what you never said anyway Making sure every moment is documented With a loophole to keep you clean
Wildlife sculptor Joshua Toby captures our imagination in an artistic world full of possibilities. Toby's sculptures in bronze and the beauty of his patinas reflect the master craftsman and the joy of his vision that will charm people of all ages. The public has a special opportunity to meet artist Joshua Toby, who brings his imagination from the world of wildlife to the Thomas Anthony Gallery, located next to the Egyptian Theater, on Friday and Saturday night, February 22nd and 23rd from 6 to 9 p.m. Refreshments for the body and soul will be served. No matter what your activity, air feed in souls increase balance and comfort, eliminate pain and fatigue. It's like walking on air. Find out more at myairfeet.com. It's kind of frustrating for me to know that a large segment of society thinks that what I do is morally wrong or improper. I feel like it's the exact opposite. I've, I've quipped for years and years and years that the insurance companies want to put Siegfried and Jensen out of business is all they have to do is start paying claims uh, timely and, and reasonably, and, and people wouldn't have to hire me. No trip to Utah is complete without spending a day at Snowbird, home of the iconic aerial tram and the most exciting terrain in the country. Snowbird has been named Best Overall Resort by OnTheSnow.com and among Ski Magazine's Top 20 Resorts. New this year is the Little Cloud High Speed Quad Chairlift offering faster accessibility to the top of the mountain. Snowbird is a short drive from Park City. Day excursions with lift tickets are available from Canyon Hop and Powder for the People. Welcome back. You know, there is so much that always needs to be done in the way of helping others and it is a privilege for us here at Mountain Views to always have the chance and the opportunity to shine the light on folks who are doing good work for those in need in so many different ways and we're doing it again tonight. It's all about the paint mixer, it's all about Deer Valley and it's all really about the Fisher House. The good folks who do so much work to help out the families of those who are being treated at the VA hospital in Salt Lake City. And I am joined by representatives of each of those organizations tonight. Susan from Deer Valley, Quinn, and Nikki from the Paint Mixer. Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you. being here. Thank Great you to for meet the you chance. all. Mm -hmm. I guess we should start with the Fisher House, Quinn, should we not? Sure, yeah. Tell folks uh, about your mission, about the work that you do, and about the needs that you have in order to provide the services sure. you Sure. So the Fisher House is it's basically a home away from home for um, veteran families to be able to stay there completely for free while the veteran is in the hospital receiving medical treatment. So um, we opened a, we just had our one year anniversary. Um, we run 100% on donations. Wow. So whatever we have in the home for these families is basically what I get in donations. Otherwise, the families are responsible to pick up their things themselves. My mission, my long-term goal is to have not only their lodging for free, but their entire state for free, meaning I have all the groceries they need, all their toiletries they need. I mean, all the way from as small as, you know, toilet paper all the way up to, you know, a barbecue grill is all donated. Um, so that's kind of, yeah, what we do. And how big of a facility do you have? What is your capacity if you're able to, to sure. fill it up? I'm sure you sure. are. Sure. So we are, yeah, 100% full, usually all the time now. Um, and it is a 20 um, suite home, so I can help house 20 families at one time. Wow. And they can stay as long as they need. My longest family so far has been there for five months. Um, and so as little as two days all the way up to however long they need. And we see, I mean, we see tons of families who need to be there for a long period of time. Um, cancer patients, especially ones that are coming to be treated for at Huntsman Cancer. And so, so we get a lot of them that are there for six to eight weeks. Um, our VA is known for our heart transplants. So we get a lot of um, families who are here for months and months for, you know, the patient getting a heart transplant. So it's just, I mean, if you can imagine it, you know, this is kind of the first time that the families can actually come with the patient. And you know, the, it's, this home was donated totally by the Fisher House Foundation. They have 58 homes in operation now. 58. Yep, wow. and um, and expanding. I mean, immensely. It's amazing what they do, and um, they just they they understand that the mission of having the families there by the bedside of their loved one helps them get fat heal heal faster. You know, that's the best 
it's the best medicine. It's the best, you know, medicine is the, the love of their families. Fantastic. And it's true. Fantastic mission. So, yeah. Good for you. Thank you. Susan, talk about how Deer Valley has become involved with the Fisher House. Well, Deer Valley has a wellness program for the employees. We've had it about eight or nine years. And uh, last year we decided we wanted to expand it by providing some community involvement opportunities. And not just to donate money, which we have done, but to get the employees involved. So we, we were all, uh, the committee was all coming up with different places we could work. We've done Peace House and we've done Habitat, some of the ones we've all heard of. Sure. And uh, I was looking for a place to do something that would help military or their families and discovered Fisher House in Quinn and thought it was an ideal match. So, and I've also done some paintings myself at the paint mixer, so I thought this is a perfect opportunity to help them. Fantastic. Yeah. And Nikki, the paint mixer, talk about putting together an event that, of course, does good works, raises money, but is also a ton of fun. Do you know a little bit about that? A little, I don't know how much I know about painting, but I know about um, teaming up with really valuable and worthy causes. And I, we feel honored to be have selected to work with the um, with, with Quinn and the Fisher House in Deer Valley. And although we are a Park City's premier paint and wine studio, we are able to team up with local organizations, fundraising efforts to try and help the community and help those valuable causes out. And what's great about an event like this is obviously supporters love to come out and donate to the causes they are associated with, but they, in this event, will have fun. They enjoy painting. And actually what Susan from Deer Valley and um, a local artist, Marley Wright, we came up with a new commissioned painting. And the painting represents the Deer Valley logo. We have the Fisher House all incorporated into our local community and obviously the symbolic American flag which represents the unity of all. So we are very honored to be involved and you know I think this is a great opportunity for not just those who know about the Fisher House but so many I mean even our young kids they like to do good they like to come out and support local organizations and everyone within our community Salt Lake can all come out and attend this event and I just think it's a wonderful event to be a part of. So thank you Quinn. Fantastic. Well, I, I have to say in doing some reading this morning and preparing for our conversation that I've really been thinking all day long about, about the work that you do and how, how much need there is beyond just the m most narrow definitions of taking care of our servicemen and women who, who need treatment as they return home. And it's such a huge job. And hats off to you and to your staff for the great work you do. Thank honored and privileged to be a part of it every day so it must be incredibly inspiring it really is and I, the best part of my job seriously every day is seeing the families get to know each other and give that support to each other I mean that Indeed. that is honestly the, the best part of the house is I mean you can't get you know better support than by somebody who's going through a similar thing you know and so all these wives and I say wives because right now primarily we have a lot of our um, people in the hospital are men, but so I, I get a lot of wives in the house, and they become the best of friends, That's and true. they give each other support, and it, it's, it's powerful. It's one of the most powerful things I've ever seen. Fantastic. So, yeah. so let's talk details about the event. Okay, it is this coming Tuesday, February 26th. It's at 5.30 till about 8.30. Yeah. Um, we're going to have, Deer Valley is going to provide some light refreshments, and they have the cash bar and, and drinks there also. And we're also going to have some door prizes, some lift tickets to Deer Valley, some nice. gift certificate for paint mixer, and a few other items. So we're trying to get as many people from the community. We'd love you to come and have fun uh, doing this wonderful painting that they've come up with. And uh, just to, to be there and have fun and uh, you know, honor the, the service folks that these folks are taking care of. Indeed. And where can folks find out online more details? Uh, they can go to thepaintmixer.com, correct? And we, to... the studio is located at 738 Main Street, and that's on Lower Main Street, which is just um, behind Panache in the Marriott Courtyard. And um, we welcome everyone to sign up online for the event and hope to see everyone out there supporting a very valuable cause. Fantastic. Ladies, thanks Thank for you. coming. 
Thank you for the Great work to all of you. Uh, it's one of the great parts of my job is to have an opportunity to talk with folks who are, who are doing such noble things. And we wish you all the best for a fantastic fundraiser. And if folks, I may, oh, yes, sure. Go ahead. If, if anybody is interested in just donating or getting involved with the Fisher House, um, you can see I have a full wish list of things that we are in need of mm -hmm. um, at www.fisherhousesaltlakecity.com. That's all spelled out. Um, we also run completely on volunteers as well. So if you're interested in just getting involved in doing something with our families, um, it's, a, it's a great place to just come and bring your family and cook a meal for the families. It's as simple as that. Um, so it's, it's just a really fun, easy way to get involved in volunteering and giving back to you know, those that gave so much for us. Well, thank you. Nice job, Quinn. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure. Nice to see you all. Get your tickets at thepaintmixer.com. Go to the event. It's next Tuesday. I'm sure that it's going to be one ton of fun. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Mountain Views. After this, please stay tuned. place for Apre Ski, where appetizers are $6 before 6 o'clock. Butchers, Chop House and Bar, 7th and Park Avenue, Historic Park City. 3,000 skiable acres and 3,000 vertical feet. Snow Basin offers diverse terrain for beginner ease to challenging expert runs. Three progressive terrain parks and 26 kilometers of groomed Nordic trails. Find out why Snow Basin is consistently recognized as best of the best. Enjoy an unforgettable vacation with Hilton Grand Vacations at Sunrise Lodge. Located next to the canyon's sunrise lift just minutes from Deer Valley and Park City Mountain Resort. Choose a studio or enjoy a spacious four-bedroom suite that can sleep ten adults. With all the comforts of home including a living area, fireplace, king-size beds, soaking tub, full kitchen, mountain views and a balcony. Stop by today to see the Hilton Grand Vacations Club at Sunrise Lodge. Make the mountain your own. It's amazing how clean, soft carpet and upholstery can improve the health and appearance of your home. A great clean uses powerful yet gentle state-of-the-art equipment to bring spectacular cleanliness back to your floors. Remember, the ticket to fresh, longer-lasting carpet starts with a great clean. Welcome back. Let's cross our fingers and think schnoo. Wouldn't it be nice? Oh yeah, hope springs eternal. I said it last night and you know why I said it? Because I meant it. And I'm still springing hope from this nice system that we're seeing here. Coming down from the Pacific Northwest, the big question is what kind of a push that it's gonna be. I kind of like this shape here, kind of a semicircle, kind of a crescent. Kevin, animation you say? That would be so hot, very nice kind of a clockwise movement and if you look at kind of the top end of the front here sort of making a southerly southerly and eventually westerly move as, as much as we can see from this particular gif obviously it's not long long the prior storm pretty much went directly south as you can see from the jet stream wind graphic here unfortunately we're still suffering a little bit so to speak from this directly southerly movement especially out over 
the Pacific Ocean, but if we look more closely to the Intermountain West here, you see that from our graphic, it's pretty much green, which means we don't have a lot of velocity to the push. It's a little bit southeasterly, which is good, but we could use a little bit more impact, a little bit more velocity happening. Obviously, as you can see, not happening today, but hopefully as that system comes closer and you can see really the velocity is happening much more where the storm system is located right now out there kind of over the Pacific Ocean in the Pacific Northwest. So hopefully that movement that you're seeing there, that southeasterly move, which is what we need to get that big bank of clouds, that big storm system to make its way through the Intermountain West and through to touch base, to touch down with us here in Utah. As we take a look at where the pressure systems are and what they are, again, the good news is that we don't have a high pressure system camping out over the top of us, so to speak, right now. It's kind of gone away a little bit. We've had a camper van Beethoven high pressure system happening for a long time, just about as long as I've been doing this dang job. But look, no H. Facebook like for that. That means that this system that is making its way, you can see kind of at the northwestern tip of Nevada, or Nevada, as they say in the Midwest, hopefully going to get a little bit more of an easterly push is what we're going to need for this system to really hit with maximum force, with maximum impact for this big, densest portion of this front coming through. And you know what? Like I say, I'm going to go with hope springing eternal because this graphic definitely looks as though things should go well. Hopefully going to get more of that southeasterly movement the further that we go. And to speak of the pipeline, if we were on the manufacturing dock, we'd say, you know what, good news, we got more deliveries coming from Hokkaido, Japan. Pretty much right now, a straight easterly movement, but probably going to get a little bit of that northerly sweep and then back down to the southeast as we watch this GIF, watch the animation re-roll. You can really get a sense for how things are coming out of Southeast Asia in a northeasterly direction and then kind of flipping over as they get closer to the continental United States. Overnight tonight, a lot of blue, not much yellow down there in San Antonio and Houston. 63 degrees in New Orleans, 70 degrees in Miami, but other than that, it is a tale of wintertime weather. As you can see, dotting the Midwest all the way across to the eastern seaboard. A lot of precipitation and a lot of cool temperatures happening overnight. Going to warm up a little bit tomorrow during the day through that crescent that goes right around at the southern half of the United States, but as for us, yeah, pretty seasonal, pretty much all the way across the Midwestern United States. Again, we're looking for better news than flurries out of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Well, we'll just have to stay hopeful that it's going to be something more accumulation-wise than what we've been seeing out of these last couple of so-called systems. And I use that term very loosely because I'm not the least bit satisfied with the amount of powder that I've been riding in the last two weeks. And that's all there is to it. Anything else, Kevin? All right then. I guess what we need to do now is feel good, think good thoughts about snow and rock and roll. Because right after the break, it's going to be time once again for some more delicious rock and roll music from the boys of Missing Method. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more. Stay tuned. Jupiter Bowl is fun bowling and great food. The Lift Grill and Lounge serves American classic cuisine and New York style pizza. Named by Ski Magazine as the number one all ages apres ski destination in the country. Visit Jupiter Bowl in Park City and online at jupiterbowl.com. Are your kids ready for some monkey mountain fun? Are you ready to give your kids a safe, supervised, and silly time? Bring the family to Monkey Mountain, a clean, safe, and fun indoor recreation alternative where kids get to exercise their bodies and minds. Monkey Mountain is proud to be a state-licensed child care facility. You can drop off kids from 2 to 12 years old or drop in with kids up to 12 years old. Parents can hang out in our beautiful Wi-Fi and TV lounge. Monkey Mountain has great 
seasonal camps, supplemental preschool, and is the perfect place for birthday parties. Monkey Mountain is open seven days a week and is the premier kids facility in the Park City area. Located on the second floor in the Silver Mountain building at Kimball Junction with views of all three ski resorts. Feel free to drop in with your kids or drop them off. No reservations are required. Bring your little monkeys down to Monkey Mountain where fun is the game. More information can be found at monkeymountain.com. The REMAX Collection is an international network made up of the most qualified real estate brokers in the industry. When searching for your next holiday home, ski retreat, or primary residence, call us at 435-714-7200 or drop by our Park City office on Prospector Avenue. Dr. James Abraham and the Park City Dental Spa provide over 25 years of experience. The Park City Dental Spa, quality dentistry in a tranquil environment. Join Burke Brothers' 21st anniversary celebration and get an exclusive instant rebate of up to $50 on four select Firestone tires or up to $70 on four select Bridgestone tires. Plus, choose two free customer appreciation gifts with any purchase of tires or auto service totaling $500 or more. Now that's a celebration exclusively at Burke Brothers. Burke Brothers. Doing it better for 21 years. Burke Brothers does it better. Welcome back. Once again, missing method. It's good to be here, Terry. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm lost, I'm sin, I'm a walking I me to all that I touch and care for I'll bring my world to its knees I'll bring my world down down from on in our sins seeking partner and bring the battle to the mountains. Helly Hansen's Big Mountain Battle consists of teams of two taking on big mountains across North America. Ski Patrol designs and pre-runs each course to set the time to beat. The top team from each event will win $2,000 worth of Helly Hansen gear and an entry into the final battle in the bowls of Aspen Snowmass. Saturday, March 2nd at Park City Mountain Resort. Grab a friend, family member, or co-worker and bring it. Go to www.bigmountainbattle.com for more information and registration. Accept the challenge. Where's the best local mattress store for Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Stearns and & Foster mattresses? The Park City Mattress Company in Redstone Village at Kimball Junction is one of the top mattress stores in Utah. Your number one local choice for Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Stearns and & Foster mattresses. So guess who has the best prices for mattresses and will not be undersold? Yes, that's right, the Park City Mattress Company in Redstone Village at Kimball Junction. Come in today to the Park City Mattress Company or call us at 435-575-BED. Yes, we're going to Flanagan's. It's the real Irish pub on historic Main Street in Park City. The food is killer. I love everything. Corned beef and cabbage, the fish and chips, and the beef stew. Oh, and the burgers, it's so yummy. Locals hang out here. Cheers. And big peeps love this place, too. The drinks, the live music, and the dancing. Hey, check out my moves. I wish I could stay all night and show all these hotties my Irish mojo, but the desserts are my weakness. Flanagan's is Irish for yummy. Wingpoint Golf Course has a distinctive Scottish flavor and Lakeland character. With rolling mounds, native grasses resembling Scottish straw, wildflowers, and bountiful bunkering. Wingpoint has twice been voted one of the top five golf courses in Utah by Golf Magazine and was named one of the state's top two public access courses by Golf Digest. With great views of downtown Salt Lake City and the Wasatch, one cannot help but enjoy the experience that Wingpoint has to offer. Also check out our sister courses, Bonneville and Mountain Dell. 
Property Management Systems Incorporated has over 50 years of experience. As the number one customer preferred choice for all of your property management needs, we are also leading the way in HOA, FHA approvals. Our many services include bookkeeping, insurance analysis, reserve study analysis, timely violation letters, and maintenance. Try us and get your first month of service free with no obligation. Call us at 801-262-3900. That's 801-262-3900. Ask for Joe or check us out online at pmsystems.net. This is Mike at Park City-based Ramp Sports. Ramp makes skis and snowboards, and we just opened a new factory in Park City, which features the most modern manufacturing operation in the industry using a revolutionary vacuum molding process. Ramp uses the most expensive high-performance materials in these new skis and combines this with industry-leading green practices. We invite you to come demo skis and snowboards for free and get our locals discount code. Business is booming at our new U.S. factory. Find us at rampsports.com. Park City Powder Cats is Utah's largest snowcat operation. Park City Powder Cats is just minutes away at the Thousand Peak Ranch, serving up over 43,000 private acres of skiing and riding. Park City Powder Cats has terrain for everyone, from steep, wide open bowls to the best tree skiing in Utah. Our guides intimately know the area, and they'll be sure to lead you to only the best possible conditions on the day of your trip. No lift lines, no resort boundary lines, true backcountry skiing and boarding. Park City Powder Cats. Find out more at pccats.com or call us at 435-649-6596. Now you can own property in Park City at the Hilton Grand Vacations Club at Sunrise Lodge next to the Canyon Sunrise Lift. Perfect for family skiing vacations with all the comforts of home including a large living area, king size beds, full kitchen, soaking tub, dining area, mountain views and balconies. Come see our one, two, three and four bedroom suites and penthouses. Our model is now open. The Hilton Grand Vacations Club at Sunrise Lodge. Make the mountain your own. Welcome back. You know, I have it on good authority that originally they were going to call the band Dan Dave Chris Bob, but at the last minute they chose Missing Method instead, and I think we're all happy about that. <laughs> Fellas, welcome to the show. Nice to see you. Thanks, man. Thanks, if you would, introduce yourselves to the nice folks out there in TV land. I'm Bob. I play the bass. Nice job, Bob. <laughs> I'm Chris, and I play guitar. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they heard it. I'm Dan, and I, I sing and play guitar. I'm Dave, and I play drums. It's always nice to get the drummer out front. You know, a lot of times the drummer's like, oh, I'll just sit back here. Not acceptable. It's got to be the whole crew. Good to have you guys here talk about, as we were discussing during the commercial break, the origin story of Missing Method. I want to pass that one to Dan because I'm the newest member of the I band. See. Actually, <laughs> I see. I see. And I'm, the youngest. Well, yeah, well, I'm the baby of the band. <laughs> is this HD? Because uh, we look better lo-fi. So, is there like a button we can? We switch actually, or? once you guys got here, we flipped the switch. Nice. Good. <laughs> Good. So. Yeah. Black and white. Like, <laughs> black and white. That's true. It's very grainy. Well, dark clubs are good for us for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Dave and I, uh, we were introduced from a mutual friend. And uh, I played light acoustical rock, and he played death metal. And so it naturally seemed like a good fit for us to <laughs> join forces. And, and then uh, uh, Chris was fired by, uh, from my dad's band. And so uh, I've, been about that. I've been fired by my dad before. So, uh, so you guys had that bonding Yeah, we had that. Over. I, we, we cuddled, and we're like, you know, let's get through this. Let's, let's rise from the fires of this and become a, a soaring phoenix. And then uh, I'm actually related to Bob. Bob is my wife's little brother. So from, from an infant, from, from the, wow. the cradle, I have been grooming <laughs> this young man into, a, into uh, the bassist I need him to be. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, my wife has recently taken up bass, so we have nice. that, that family nice. thing. Nice. She's rocking it. We had a long lesson last night, and I'm buoyed and encouraged by this story of familial musical Oh, yeah, joy. it works. Nepotism, it's... <laughs> it's a good thing, a good especially thing. Yeah. when you need a bass player. <laughs> <laughs> because they are hard to find. There are good bass player is tough to find. Talk about your influences because I I love this music. I love that it's got some echoes of music when I had hair to be <laughs> to be candid. Yeah. And uh, and I like that stuff. Talk about playing some a little bit of periodish music maybe yeah. that's an is that a fair thing to say no no i, I think that we are uh we are the modernized rebirth of 90s rock like uh we 
um, I used to listen to like all the 80s uh, <laughs> mod music. And so, I, you know, it's all about melody and, and stuff. And so that's my influence. And, and, uh, but I got into the kind of the electric, electric stuff around uh, Pearl Jam and Stone Temple Pilots. So those are, those are some influences. But then, like I said, we've got Dave, who's uh, trying to man me up and listen to metal and stuff with, like, Devin Townsend and stuff like that. So. And that is definitely, I must say, without reservation, that is a man's drum kit right there. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got some, some girth to it. Yeah. Which it's kind of the trend nowadays is the smaller, right. you know, kind of the combo kit and a lot of brushes and that sort of thing. I'm guessing you don't do a whole no. lot of that, Dave. It doesn't do anything small. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Actually, the funny thing is, is when uh, I started playing with Dan, um, my whole goal here <laughs> was... Um, to go in a different direction than I've I've normally been because I'm I've you know played the heavy music uh, lots of drumming lots of double bass all that stuff right. and I wanted to branch out and so with Dan I tried playing with brushes and I tried doing the stuff that you know is more acceptable I guess and then Dan's all I don't want you to do that I want you to be who you are and Just so be yourself exactly <laughs> so it took us a while to find our our places and another cuddle session exactly <laughs> and um, you know we like to cuddle so <laughs> but uh, so uh, I, uh, we take you know I guess old influences of more rock more straightforward and uh, take some 80s melody and well you know. then we've got Chris here who's <laughs> uh, he's all about the the classic rock He'll, he'll miss one of our shows to go see Government Mule play. And so tell us about your influences. Um, <laughs> We've got a mic situation here just for I'm actually for heavy, heavily influenced by blues music. So uh, this band, not necessarily blues, but uh, uh, that's kind of where I started with the guitar and just, you know, sure. pretty much anything guitar is. is and I did hear you kind of you know, like, jazzing it up a little bit. Yeah, when, well, when I really like jazz jacket. guitar. Uh, but I'm not really good at it, so <laughs> I fake it really good. You but fake I it very well. Don't fake it very good well. either. I, I fake it, and then people ask about it. But <laughs> so, what do you guys got? Uh, shows, records. What do folks need to know about that's coming up? Um, we have a show coming up on March 9th at the Deer Hunter in Spanish, in Spanish Fork. Fork, and then right. a Mu Muse Music sometime after April that. 12th. April 12th. April 12th. Look at that. And we uh, have a back some brand new CD out, and they can get it on iTunes, you can get it from us at shows, you can uh, find some link on our Facebook page. Um, and we have a video on YouTube of the first song we played, Exhausting, uh, just uh, YouTube Missing Method Exhausting. And you can see it, uh, it's, a, it's a phenomenal production. <laughs> I watched that video. Did you? <laughs> and I liked it. I did. I liked it. It was, it was very, it was very Sort of of the era, MTV, yeah. trade dramatique. Yeah, yeah, nice exactly. Yeah. So best place to start uh, Missing Method on Facebook? Yes, sure. That's, yeah. all of us are on there at least once a day. And uh, <laughs> let's see what else. I mean, not, we have other stuff to do. <laughs> <laughs> when you see our posts and they're all spelled wrong, that's this guy right here. You know who it is. And I'm the one that goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, if it adds to the band personality, then I say, do it. <laughs> just do, just do all thumbs. <laughs> just fine. Guys, thanks. Thank you for having. Nice me. to have thanks, you man. here. Thanks. One more song after the break. Yes. Sure. All right then. Definitely. It's <laughs> missing method, everybody. We're gonna take a break, and then they will do what they do again. Stay tuned. Aloha Ski Rental is proud to sponsor local coverage of USSA athletes, encouraging viewers to take advantage of Park City's exceptional ski conditions. Save up to 20% off ski and snowboard rental and delivery with advanced reservations. Visit alohaskirentals.com for more information. Julie Hopkins has lived in resort markets her entire life and knows the Park City lifestyle. Call Julie Hopkins for any real estate needs at 435-901-0616. Come and enjoy international cuisine at Adolf's Restaurant. Bring in your family for an authentic Swiss fondue, and for a great dessert, try our chocolate fondue. Located at 1500 Currents Boulevard, open nightly.
Crandall Ford was founded in Summit County in 1946 and is still family owned and operated. We're proud to represent Ford Motor Company, which produces vehicles with class leading quality, fuel efficiency, safety, and technology. We always have a great selection of new and high quality pre owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. We work hard every day to earn your business by providing our customers with outstanding service. Discover the difference at Crandall Ford. Come visit us on Rasmussen Road. Call us at 435 647 Ford or visit us online at CrandallFord.com. We're the Shan Jarrett Real Estate Team. We understand and love the Park City lifestyle. We specialize in canyons, Park City, and Deer Valley real estate. We invest the time to know our clients and help them find their perfect home. Give us a call. On Friday's Mountain Morning Show, we're rounding up the usual suspects. Charlie Sturgis <laughs> will be here with Mountain Trails and Annie Miller from PCMR. And some unusual ones. We have Josh Toby, artist, that's going to be talking with us. And then we'll also be talking about Swanner Eco Center. We'll see you then. Well, my friends, that is a week. I wish we had a show tomorrow night, but we don't. So. Come back on Monday. We'll have DJ John Mon, Nancy Green, producer and filmmaker of Utah Women's Voices, going to be airing soon on KUED. A fantastic look at women's rights activism history in Utah. And, of course, watch Unplugged all weekend long in this time slot. And once again, the boys from Missing Method. Good night. <laughs> One man says up, another says down No way to be sure where to stand your ground Taking a path of least resistance I fear of death will determine our existence Bye.